All right, so we're picking up on our passage this week, and it's a little armored one. Last week we had a science passage, and this week I accidentally also chose um, a science one. So we'll just have science back-to-back -back this week and last week. Um, so the little armored one actually talks about uh, armadillos, and it says, What comes to mind when you think of the strangest animal in the United States? If your answer was the armadillo, then your opinion would be shared with many others. The armadillo looks odd because of its outer shell of armored plates. The name armadillo means little armored one in Spanish. In fact, the mammal got its name from Spanish explorers who explored North America. If you look at drawings of the old Spanish suits of armor, they actually resemble the armadillo. Armadillos were originally native to South America. They migrated to Texas and range as far north as Oklahoma, Kansas, Louisiana, and Tennessee. We also have them here in Mississippi. The armadillo is the state small mammal of Texas. Armadillos live in grasslands, scrubs, brush, and woods. They are not found where the soil is too hard to dig. Armadillos prefer habitats of sand and shade. They dig burrows with their strong claws. They also dig for food and slurp it up with sticky tongues like their cousins, the anteaters. Since they are omnivorous mammals, armadillos eat plants and animals. This includes varieties of insects, bird eggs, berries, fruit, and even dead animals. Armadillos are also unique in their reproduction of young. Even though breeding occurs in July, the embryo remains dormant until November. In March, four young armadillos are born. All four babies are identical quadruplets that have shared a single placenta while in the mother's womb. They are either all male or all female. Armadillos are born with a soft skin and their eyes open in only a few hours. The babies can begin to move around. Their armor begins to harden after a few days. The armadillo typically grows to the size of the average house cat. Their lifespan, while in the wild, is four to seven years. In captivity, armadillos can survive up to 10 years. Armadillos have poor vision. If you were to be still and quiet, an armadillo could bump right into you. Even though they have short legs, Armadillos can jump three to four feet vertically in the air when startled. Thanks to armadillos, a vaccine was developed for leprosy, a skin disease. Armadillos are useful and interesting to learn about. So now what I want to do before I go to my questions is I kind of want to take each paragraph and kind of see what the main idea. So I know my overall subject of this is armadillos. So I'm going to put that up here. Subject, armadillos. So now I'm going to look at each paragraph. In this beginning, in this first paragraph, it introduced to me what an armadillo is. So I'm going to put introduces the armadillo. Okay? And then the second one tells me where they live. and what they eat. So it has two main ideas in that paragraph. The next one tells me about reproduction and their lifespan. So it also has two main ideas. Paragraph four tells me about their poor vision and their short legs. So that tells me um, about some disabilities that they have that kind of keeps them from being able to do some things. And then the last one tells me uh, how they are useful, how they've helped us. Okay, so now I have 
have the main idea of each of my five paragraphs, I'm going to turn over and look at my first question. My first question says, which paragraph could you add information about the mating season of armadillos without distracting from the main idea of the paragraph? And I know that mating season has to do with reproducing, and so I'm going to go back and look at which paragraph it was that talked about reproduction. And so paragraph one was introduction. Paragraph two was where they live and what they eat. So paragraph three was about reproduction. So I'm going to go back to my answers and I'm going to circle paragraph three. Okay. Then I'm going to go to my context clues page. All right. In my context clues for today. Even though I want to be more self-sufficient, I don't always like the extra responsibility that comes with getting older. So let me take self-sufficient out and let me see if I can think of what could replace that. Even though I want to be more blank, I don't always like the extra responsibility that comes with getting older. Hmm. Sounds like responsibility is part of that. And also, I would say independence. Being able to do stuff by myself means I'm independent. So my sentence would be, um, animals are not always self-sufficient sometimes you need to feed them and give them water and I tell my daughter this all the time because our dog and cat cannot feed themselves. They have to be uh, fed and they cannot get themselves water. They can't go turn the water faucet on so they need um, for us to give them water. So therefore they are not self-sufficient. They are not independent. They are not able to take care of themselves. All right. That's it for today, guys. And um, tomorrow we will look at Tuesdays. Have a good one. Bye.